Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and uh, I was going to do a certain, I was going to do an unboxing video for my first video, but uh, first video with my new laptop, but unfortunately things happened and I haven't gotten the package yet. Thank you, USPS. Oh man, I'm trying to. Sorry, if you hear something in the background, it's because it's probably from a child. I have, to, I have to mute a lot of things on my Discord. I just download a Discord on my laptop, so I've got to keep it here. Anyway, um, it's going to be annoying. Anyway, so instead of doing... Sorry. Oh, my God. What the hell keeps going on there? Hold on. Hold on, folks. Bear with me. Uh... Okay. Trying to, trying to mute a lot of these uh, channels here. Okay, just uh, I don't know which ones I can mute and unmute, but okay. Hopefully, nothing else comes up. Anyway, back on this. Um, like I said, it, uh, it, it was going to be, because um, I got something on order from Amazon. It's um, it's a Skyhawk thing. It's it's it's, the figure, it's my figure. I've got a Skyhawk. And uh, like I said, I was going to unbox it, but unfortunately, I hadn't gotten here. It, it came here, but there was a little problem. First one dropped it off. Had to go to the office. Office hasn't been accepting the packages because of COVID-19. All that other bullshit. So, basically... However, I am going to go ahead and do something else. Do a different uh, type of unboxing. Sorry, if I'm looking over there, I got to uh, show you. Uh, if you can see it right there, right there on my uh, counter, and, uh, well, around the area of Castro Nero there. It's a, um, it's a, uh, well, it's can't, well, it's hot wax, well, uh, hot wax warmers. And, uh, sorry. And, uh, uh, basically, it's, it's a. Um, let me show you. <laughs> Went and bought it today, along with a bunch of other things, which is what I'm going to get to in a bit. Uh, it's um, blue sky scent. So this whole room here, my room, my and my nephew's room, I smell like blue sky. I also got lavender and cedar, and Pacific Coast Highway. Anyway, what I'm going to talk to him in this video is a movie series, a, a, a bunch of movies that I got, the Mel Brooks collection. Personally, I think Mel Brooks is one hell of a comedic, joy, comedic uh, filmmaker. Uh, he hasn't been making any lately because I think he's quite old. So yeah. Anyway, let's get into let's get talking about the uh, these various movies. All right. All right. So you got this little got this little booklet. Uh, let me take a look real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. It talks about all these all the different movies that are in it. So, first movie, The Twelve Chairs. I personally have never seen it. I haven't even, I haven't even heard of it until I got this, 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 this collection. Okay. Second one, right here, Blazing Saddles. Now, the thing about Blazing Saddles, it's my all-time favorite comedy movie, period. Um, one of... Uh, um, it, it actually was recently featured on a Watch Mojo video. Um, about it says the top ten movies that would not be made today, and I'm not gonna spoil it by telling you where it is, but I know it's. I said it for years that the, that Blazing Saddles has, has is a movie that would never be made be made today because of its content. First of all, that it it on the surface it pokes fun at spaghetti westerns. If you don't know what spaghetti westerns, spaghetti westerns were, spaghetti westerns are, uh, are, are a bunch of movies from the 1960s. Most of them starred Clint Eastwood, and they were all made by Italian filmmakers, hence the term spaghetti westerns. Um, the, uh, but underneath that, underneath that exterior, it's actually, it actually put, uh, Kind of makes fun of race. It makes fun of racism. So anything racist, a lot of people are not going to like today. 
So this one, and I've actually sat and counted, makes 52 racial and ethnic slurs. 26 of them happen to be the N-word. If you hear some, some noise in the background, it's my niece. My sister and her, my sister and her kid and, her, and, and the kids are watching, watching you know, my sister's grandkids. Little Amir is being a little bud right now. <laughs> Of course, we expect when he's cooped up in the house for it because because this whole COVID nineteen thing. Anyway, the next movie, Young Frankenstein. Oh wait, 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 wait! It's Young Frankenstein. A little bit of a joke from that movie. Um, in in this particular movie, the late Gene Wilder plays Young Frankenstein, basically uh, Doctor Victor Frankenstein's son. And it also, uh, let's see, um, God, I can't remember the name of it. I know it has a, um, has a bunch of people that are, that are basically um, Mel Brooks regulars, okay? And Gene Wilder is one of them. He was actually in Blade and Saddles. He played what's called, characters known as Jim. Everyone calls him Jim, another joke of the movie. But he's known as the Waco Kid. Uh, okay. Silent Movie. Here's the thing. I saw Silent Movie uh, a few years back when my when my niece had to go when my niece had to go to the ER over at uh, Good Good Samaritan Hospital. Um, they are playing. They played it on, a, on their on their TV on a late night. You know, one of those uh, uh, cable channels play at night. And I'm like watching it, going, okay, okay. It's it's, it's all silent except for one word, and it said. By one of the most well-known mimes, probably the, mo- the most well-known mime in, in history, Marcel Marceau. He, because in the movie, Mel Brooks plays a filmmaker. Well, yeah. Hold on, folks. They're calling me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, let me find out where I where I was. Okay. Uh, okay. But like I said, in Silent Movie, well, Brooks plays a filmmaker wanting to make a movie. And it's Silent Movie type of thing. Uh, he talks to, tries to get people like the late Robert Redford, uh, the late Burt Reynolds, um, even the woman who, even the lady who later on becoming his wife. Uh, can't remember her name, but you know who I'm talking about. If you know Mel Brooks, you know who I'm talking about. Um... But the one line, the one word that was said in it was said by Marcel Marceau because he called him up and Marcel Marceau was all like, he heard it and he was like, no, hangs up the phone. And it's the fact that it said by a mind is the reason why it's so freaking hilarious. High anxiety. Never seen it. Heard about it, but never seen, never seen it. Uh, oh. History of the World Part 1. They never made a part two, but it's basically, it's it's a bunch of things that um, Mel Brooks goes through various times in history. Uh, but uh, that's that. Well, that's the movie right there. Uh, to be or not to be. I think that's the woman he ended up marrying in that picture. I'm not too sure. But to be or not to be, I'd never seen so I. Well, there's three of these movies I would love to, I, I've never seen but I would love to see now for the uh, okay space I mean Blade and Sound is my number one all time favorite Mel Brooks movies the best my favorite and so, and so of course like I said it's my favorite all time favorite comedy now number two and number three of my all time favorite Mel Brooks movies Spaceballs, which of course folks fun it, Star Wars. A little tiny bit of Star Trek too, but it's it's Star Wars mostly. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I realized this when I was looking at it. The two main heroes of the movie, they're both gone. Uh, the late Bill Pullman played Lone Star, and the late John Candy played Barf. Uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights is probably like my, like I said my third best third favorite movie by Mel Brooks and it basically was a it, it wasn't just a spoof on uh, Robin Hood movies 
but it was also a spoof of the movie that came out around the same time, Robin and Prince of Thieves. Carrie always plays Robin of Loxley. Um, Amy Yazbeck, who uh, got married to, um, what's his face, uh, the late John Ritter, was uh, played Maid Marian. Um, trying to think, uh, who else? Uh, uh, some more regulars of uh, of of uh, Mel Brooks films. Dom, the late Dom DeLuise. He played a like a like this <laughs> Italian <laughs> this Italian guy in it. They hired to kill Robin. Um, oh God, what a, uh, oh Mel Brooks, of course, played Friar Tuckman. That's one thing that's always frank, frequent in his movies. He may he he uh he makes fun of his own uh his own uh um his own ethnicity of being Jewish. Uh but uh oh oh Dave Chappelle. This is one of Dave Chappelle's earlier movies. He he played um he played a chew. Oh, oh, and his father, a sneeze. A big joke of the movie, of course, was played by the late. Uh, I'm, making movie. Yeah, I'm making a video right now, so. Yeah, so that's all the movies that are in the collection. Well, Jazz saying thank you all for watching. Take care of those.